Hey what's up guys it's Rick Pete back with a new video for you and as you can see I've gone for a slightly different layout behind me um, you can see my Undisputed V2 there and this is my WWE World and open with that way you can see my NXT belt is on display um, so yeah I don't know why I mentioned that but uh, yeah so this is as the title of the video suggests it's another DVD review um, and this one and you can't really see my t-shirt I've got my Jay Lethal in the UK t-shirt so as the title suggests I am going to be reviewing and uh, giving my thoughts on should I say a lethal dose the Jay Lethal story I can never line it right with that camera so yeah um, basically this is uh, another one I got in a Ring of Honor um, bundle from a merchandise it's a another two disc um, set and I'll go through it um, well, I'll go through it in a minute actually I'm just going to give you a sort of bit of a background as to why I got this um, Jay Lethal was somebody that I I enjoyed watching in TNA um, at the time when I first started watching TNA I had no idea that he used to wrestle in Ring of Honor until I saw Ring of Honor and Jay Lethal was in it and I was like right okay that would explain why he's not in TNA anymore um, so I really enjoyed a lot of the stuff he did uh, he's turning the TV title into the Ring of Honor World TV title you know when he was on his run up to making you know to becoming world champion making the TV title seem as if it was just as important or it was more important sorry than the world title so when I saw this in the offer I was like yep yeah, I'm gonna grab me that because uh, I need that DVD so obviously I got it so like I say it's a two disc uh, set I'll show you the inside I will one day master the art of angles on this there you go and uh, so disc one um, that's split into uh, two sections um, there's a really really good interview uh, from Jay with Jay Lethal from 2014 uh, he talks about how he got started in the business um, and you know all sorts he's just trained you know his wrestling school where he trained AJ Lee which I didn't know um, until I saw this um, his stint in TNA um, his <laughs> his black machismo gimmick which was awesome if you've never seen any of Jay Lethal's macho man stuff uh, go on YouTube um, his black machismo stuff was brilliant his interviews he did Randy Savage to a T he mentions that he actually spoke to uh, Randy Savage on the phone uh, on this um, he also does a good Ric Flair a really good Ric Flair impression um, again go on YouTube and type in uh, Jay Lethal Ric Flair basically Jay Lethal out Ric Flair it's Ric Flair and he mentions in this uh, interview it won't spoil you me telling you this that um, when he was in TNA and Ric Flair was in TNA if T uh, Ric Flair brought anybody to the TV tapings or whatever with him um, you know he'd, he'd go find Jay Lethal and in, in Jay Lethal mentions he could be in a locker room and uh, somebody would come in and say oh you know Flair's looking for you but like yeah I know I can hear him shouting and he'd be like shouting Lethal you son of a bitch get out here and he'd go out and he'd be like you know you know what I want to say do it and he'd just go into his Ric Flair impression and Flair would never say thank you or anything just get away we walk away so the kid does me better than I did and you know for him it was a massive honour because he was a massive fan of uh, Flair which you know most wrestlers are and most wrestling fans um, are Ric Flair fans are the ones I, I know I can't think of one that doesn't like Ric Flair but yeah if you go on YouTube and type in you know Jay Lethal Macho Man uh, Black Machismo Jay Lethal, Ric Flair, and there's a really good one where Flair's in the ring and Lethal comes out and it just, oh, it's just hilarious. It just YouTube it. Um, so, yeah, like I say, I mentioned the various subjects in this, how we got started debuting in Ring of Honor, moving to TNA's, TNA release, uh, Macho Man's death, he touches on that and how it affected him, um, his heel turn in Ring of Honor. Um, and so many many other things his wrestling school which I've already mentioned um, and then come um, the matches um, with any Ring of Honor DVD release I've noticed there never seems to be a bad match 
I've never bought a best of compilation and seen a bad match. I've bought a few WWE ones where it's been a best of and there's been some utter dirge on there but with this one I uh, I can't find a bad match. Uh, in my opinion they're all really good matches. Uh, there's three full matches um, on this disc. There's a TV title match against Roderick Strong, a two out of three falls match against Tommaso Ciampa, then an amazing match against Kevin Steen, who's now Kevin Owens in WWE, um, for the Ring of Honor World title, which ends in very controversial fashion with, I'm just going to say, tempers flaring at the end. Um, I'm not sure if it was a work, if it was a, a shoe, if it was legit, sorry. Um, I have no idea, but um, I, I don't really want to say what happens because it may spoil it. Um, but uh, yeah, um, like I say it's hard to tell whether it's planned or whether it's not, um, whether it's a, it's a legit incident. So, uh, but yeah, that's, that's a great way to end disc one. Uh, disc two has eight full matches on here. And again, like I said, not a bad one. Uh, he faced Jay Lethal Wrestle's uh, David Richards in a match from Glory by Honor 11 from 2012. There's a rematch um, for the Ring of Honor world title against uh, Kevin Steen. And that's from the 11th anniversary show in 2013. Uh, then he wrestles Michael Elgin at the Supercard of Honor 7 from 2013 uh, then in, um, he does the Machismo King Jay Lethal versus Delirious this is from the A Night of Hoopla DVD which I do actually own which is just something I've never seen before I, I've never seen anything like A Night of Hoopla it has wrestling matches and then the, it's just it's different it's not your average Ring of Honor TV show put it that way um, and in this match, uh, I'm not going to give too much away, but they sort of kind of recreate the Macho King uh, versus Ultimate Warrior retirement match. And uh, then there's uh, Jay Lethal versus Sanjay Dutt. Uh, that's for the in the world title tournament and from Ring of Honor TV in 2013. That was a really good match. I mean, they're, they're good friends. Uh, they know each other from their TNA days. So. Uh, there's a match against Eddie Edwards from Pursuit Night 1 in 2013. Uh, a match against AJ Styles um, from the 12th anniversary show in 2014, which is, pardon the pun, a phenomenal match. Um, and then finally it ends with a Ring of Honor World Television Championship 2 out of 3 falls match from Supercard of Honor 8 in 2014, which is Tommaso Ciampa defending against Jay Lethal. Um, I said it before, I said it again, not a bad match on this DVD. Um, the Ring of Honor really do, <coughs> excuse me, put the best matches on the DVDs. They don't put any filler or any crap on. They, they knock it out of the park every time. And this is another prime example of Ring of Honor knocking it way out of the park. Great DVD, I recommend it to any wrestling fans. Ring of Honor fans, well, most Ring of Honor fans will probably have it in the collection anyway. Uh, anybody who's familiar with Jay Lethal from TNA, um, if you're a bit dubious with it being a Ring of Honor release, don't be. Go for it. It is a great, great DVD. Um, any Ring of Honor fan who doesn't have it, you should get this for your collection. It is a great addition. I am really glad I got it. It's, um, I say I watched it and I was just amazed. Like I said, there's not one bad match on it. So, uh, yeah, highly recommended again. Ring of Honor, like I said, knocking it way out of the park with another great DVD release. Um, it's a few years old now, um, but well, well worth checking out. To say Ring of Honor just seems to have this consistency when they do a best of compilation. I've yet to get a best of DVD and think, well, that were a crap match, that were a crap match, that were average. I, I, you know, the, I, obviously that's a the up and down side of being a wrestling fan a match that I may think is really good somebody else may go well that were a load of crap I could go well that one were a bit you know meh 
and some of the oh no that was brilliant that was, that was a great match but uh, yeah on there I don't think anybody I think anybody would be grudged sorry be begrudged to find a hard match uh, a bad match um can't get my words out so yeah that'll do uh, do it for now guys so that was my redi my review of lethal dose the j lethal story again highly recommended to anybody um especially anybody who's seen him in tna but not ring of honor any wrestling fan you want to see some great wrestling again can't go wrong with ring of honor so that'll do it for me guys for now as always i will say thank you to those of you who have subscribed who've taken the time out for those of you who just watch the videos but haven't subscribed why not um no i'm just kidding um thank you again it means the world that you've taken the time to sit and watch you know my video when there's you know so many other videos out there probably shouldn't have said that but oh well um so yeah um that'll look for me guys as always uh, take care and i will see you again soon bye for now <laughs>